Hello everyone! How's everyone doing? You guys doing good too? I'm doing good too. Let's get on to today's video session. Here we go. Here we go! This is a really cool track. This is based on the street bar too. I don't know, terrible, whatever it's called. You can't! That was a great start, wasn't it? Ooh. <laughs> Why is that? Fight! Ha! <laughs> Check that out! Tonight! It's gonna be a fight! Buster! Around the world! Yeah! Come to me, bad! Never act! Okay! One cool music from Spirit Ball 2, so check it out! So, today session is pretty interesting! Okay? So this is based on Nintendo today and now this company right has loads of plans for different systems. Yeah, a lot a lot of different systems. And I was very surprised what this company is actually doing. We know the Nintendo had a deal with Panasonic, which they released a thing called Panasonic Q Games Console. This is one of the best system you ever buy. Even today's date, Nintendo GameCube still has one of the best video games in existence. Yeah, it doesn't matter if there's new systems coming out. It's not important that new systems are coming out. New systems come out because based on the technology, yeah? As years are passing passing by, it's more powerful technologies, isn't it, really? But does powerful technology give you uh, good titles? No. No, they don't. They don't. Not at all. The better titles, it depends on the developers. If developers can't give you a good stuff, then you're not gonna get any good good games on your systems, are you? Now, I've been seeing that quite further on on the systems because when Nintendo GameCube came out, then there was Nintendo Wii, there was Nintendo Wii U, and Nintendo Switch. Now, if you look at all these three systems, yeah, Nintendo Wii was really for exercising party and dancing stuff really most majority stuff like that the Nintendo Wii U was a struggle mode really which was using a really gigantic Wii U gamepad which was streaming the games on there because of its struggle mode and people didn't even know that it was released on the market not many people actually even knew that so they didn't buy it because they thought it was just an upgrade to Nintendo Wii so they didn't buy it and there wasn't much support from developers on this system because it wasn't selling so well anyway. Then we got this Nintendo Switch, which, you know, is a hybrid system, giving you handle, tabletop, and TV. These are the audiences, three audiences that it gives you there. The games on this system aren't very important. I'll be honest with you. Because the most majority games that which are really important are just Mario Kart 8, Zelda Breath of the Wild, um, Splatoon 2, uh, Animal Crossing, and Super Maker. It's just stuff like that, really. There's not that much stuff on this system. Any other game like from third party. Is not great on there, okay? It's not amazing, but it's still they're still very good on it. 
But I don't think uh, the developers are making any money out of it. But we know it's got a lot of sales. We know that. But I think only the sales are pushing the actual developers' titles. Otherwise, they wouldn't have sold anyway. It's got a really high number of sales. But I don't really think that this system has that many good games. Not really. It's just repeating uh, games from, um, I don't know, what do you say? PC, Sony, and Microsoft. It's just similar games like that, really. But we need a Nintendo exclusive games, not uh, third party games. Yep, we need them as well, of course. But most majority are just the same like the other systems, yeah. I think when we look at them kind of games, there, I think people are going to tend to go for that more powerful system and play them games, yeah, on third party. I don't think the Nintendo one's going to be the better choice for that. I mean, Nintendo's better choice is that just three audiences and the Nintendo exclusive games and there's not that many on there. Now, the most important thing about this is from Nintendo that is um, Nintendo is using mini consoles. Yeah, mini consoles. It would have been a really big thing if they released a Panasonic mini uh, how can I say? Well, I don't know. Yeah, Panasonic Q. Oh, I don't know. Panasonic Q. Games console. Mi a mini one. But what could we expect from that? Imagine they did release something like that from coming from Panasonic. Um, if we had this Panasonic Q games console, a mini version of it, yeah? We know this system was really expensive. When it came out back in December 2001, the importers had this machine, didn't they? Even in the UK. The problem with this system was a price tag. It was £499.99. I mean, you know, Panasonic put so many features into this system and Nintendo put Nintendo GameCube games on there. This is one of the best hybrid, not just the hybrid, it's one of the best games console you can ever buy for your money. Now, the problem goes even worse. It gets even worse than that. And what is that? Okay, back in the time, they had a Panasonic Q games console, which was £499. And then they had another one, a Panasonic Q games console, which is a modded system. What that just did, it just played uh, US games. So what that was, all he was doing, just playing US and Japanese games. Yeah. And the DVD was just the same. There was nothing there. The DVD still was just Japanese, yeah. And that was priced at £599.99. pence. Alright. So that's another £100 on top. Already is expensive. You weren't even expensive with the modded. Now, if you buy a Panasonic Q games console, right, the same one, they are, if you bought one for 500, 600, 700, 800, they can have problems. Yeah, they can be used pre-owned ones or refurbished ones. A lot of them will be refurbished really, which have been repaired and all that. The either the drive, the DVD drive won't come out, or you just wouldn't play some other CDs. Sometimes what happens, even the drive comes out in some other machines, you're only gonna get to play Nintendo GameCube games then. Uh, CD, DVD, media doesn't work at all. Remember one thing, when we talk about CD, there's loads of CD format it plays. And DVD, it plays loads of DVD formats. This system is absolutely incredible. Yeah? It plays more than any games console I have ever seen. When we talk about CD and DVD media, they don't play that much. This plays more. When even we talk about just about CD DVD media. Now if we want a system that will do everything just like the one we 
had one for Pawn Knight Napan. Long time ago, yeah? A £1,000 one might be just the thing. If not, you probably have to spend about over 1200 on it to get a fully working one. Yeah? If you want even a better model than that, you have to probably spend about £2,000. <laughs> Two thousand, twenty five hundred, and if you're looking for a brand new one, uh, they can be around about six thousand something, two hundred or six thousand, two hundred fifty five, something like that. You'll get a brand new one. For a flip heck, a six thousand pound. That's a lot of money. Yeah. So that's all the Panasonic Q. Now, if they wanted to release a Panasonic Q games console, a mini version of it, they will need to do some, uh, remove some stuff. Hmm. Removing some stuff. Okay. If they want to release a mini version of this system, what can they do about it? Before we get into it, let's listen to some music words, yeah? Speed fire. I do I do I'm a street fighter. I'm a street fighter, man. Yeah, man. I'm a street fighter. <laughs> That's can't music, Okay, cool. That's absolutely amazing. So, further on information I have now. Now, take a look at this. Now, Nintendo is going to release a thing called Re Retro Champ. Yeah? Now, a Retro Champ is a similar design to the Nintendo Switch with the side controls. So, it makes it a handheld, and then it's, I think it's got a stand on a tabletop. And it's even TV. It's just a similar thing like that. But obviously, it's like a retro thing. No, so what's in this thing? Basically, this system, right, is using real cartridges. Yeah? If you remember back in the 1990s, right, it's them systems. Okay, what are they? It's, it's stuff like uh, Super Nintendo and... Sega Mega Drive and I think it's got stuff like Need Your Pocket Color, Sega Game Gear, Atari Lynx 2. It's, uh, it's some systems like that. But the mom, the main focus on this system is Sega Mega Drive and Super Nintendo. It looks really really dazzling. It looks really really cool. So this is one of the them systems. This is not any console by the way. This is just a, a, a retrofied system that they want to give you using real cartridges which is a good idea so there you go uh, now follow-up systems okay they've got all these machines to release in mini versions okay uh, Nintendo Game Boy Advance uh, Nintendo 64 Nintendo GameCube uh, I think they got plans of releasing Nintendo Wii and Nintendo Wii U as well, yeah? But we don't know for certain for Nintendo Wii and Nintendo Wii U right now, but I think they are going to release them as well. Now, the Nintendo Game Boy Advance one has gone a bit quiet. 
they may publish their own balcony, but I noticed that it has gone quiet in the scene. Okay, the big thing here is that now, what is the next big mini console? Nintendo 64. Nintendo 64 will be the next mini console. So Nintendo 64 mini console will be releasing from Nintendo. It's going to be massive. It's going to be really good. The one thing I didn't like about Nintendo, why didn't he focus on the Panasonic Cube Games Console mini version? Why not? Why not? That's just crazy. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the Panasonic Q. What stuff they should remove if they ever want to use the mini console on this? Right. They could keep the silver color. Yeah. They can remove the LCD display. And below the LCD display, there's buttons. You, you can remove them. And from the front, the mirror face plate, mirror face plate, you can move that as well. And then on the front, there's bone on the left, remove that. There's bone on the right, remove that. What about the four game controller ports, which gives you blue LED light? Keep that. Keep the blue LED light. Yeah, keep that. That look that looks really cool. Two uh, memory card slots. Keep that as well. Yeah, and from back of the system, which they've done a lot, even on the front, they've done a lot, and, and the back, and on back of the system, you do not need the audio phono sockets, RCA, whatever you call them. Remove them. Then on the left, everything's on the left hand side, don't then the subwoofer port, remove that. Then below that, uh, the S video, remove that. And then to the right, which was RCA in yellow, remove that. And then below that, DTS, keep that. Yeah, keep that. And then in the middle, there was a digital AV out, keep that, and then to the right, the power cord, keep that. If you do that, a lot of the price will go down, yeah? A lot of the price will go down, and it will make a good purchase for the customers. Now, the games console, that okay, we covered that. The accessories. They should give you a Panasonic game controller and a Panasonic remote control for your CD, DVD. Yeah? They should give you all that. They should include all that. Okay? <coughs> they should include all that. And they should try to make the game controller and the remote control a bit cheap, but still giving the good performance out of it. Do not make it expensive like the system. But I think what Panasonic was doing, he was trying to make a lot of money. Mm, he was ripping off Nintendo customers. Because, mm. like, when even he was selling them separately, the Panasonic Game Controller and the Panasonic Remote Control. They were really expensive. Just it's a Panasonic brand. You do not need to charge so much amount of money. You, you could sell it pretty cheap. I mean, when we talk about the Panasonic Game Controller, I think if we, if there is the same model, yeah? 
which was just the one. It probably be around about fifty pound, forty nine pound, ninety nine pence, fifty pound, yeah. And then the Panasonic Remote Control, they should have put a really high price tag on that either. At thirty nine ninety nine, about forty pound, looks the right price for that as well. Yeah, but you know the prices they put on them. They were like um. 80 pound and over so been heck that's like bloody expensive that's too much money I don't think you need to spend that much kind of amount of money to you know to do all these things now the other thing is that okay that's all plans on a queue yeah code for you there is a Nintendo 64 I mean I think right now Nintendo 64 will be having 20 pre-installed games <coughs> which is pretty good I think this system probably be using Nintendo 64 game cartridges as well you were able to buy game cartridge on the system and you should be able to play them and I think right at the front there will be a flash drive for you know your uh, music, photo and videos and stuff like that, yeah? Photo, music and videos. It's supposed to be that old actually. Share yeah, all that kind of stuff. And you probably will be able to put Nintendo 64 ROMs. It's going to be a great product, by the way. Yeah? I'm sure Nintendo will be using, releasing Nintendo GameCube Mini console as well I don't think they're gonna release the Panasonic Q games console mini version I don't think they're gonna release that because they got no licenses or any contract with Panasonic anymore they haven't been keep keeping contacting with them have they I mean if they do if Nintendo does approach Panasonic for this new system, it'll be really, really good, man. Because the Panasonic Q Games Console is one of the best games console you can ever buy. I mean, its features, its design, its look, the display, and the four game controller port, blue really lights, it's just absolutely fantastic. And on the back, there were so many ports. And having a Nintendo GameCube games. They're one of the best games, even in today's date of 2022. Yeah, they're still one of the best games. I think lots of company, even the model consoles they've been releasing, they're struggling to make good games on them. Really, they haven't got any. Because if you if you look at Nintendo GameCube, especially, he had the most majority of exclusives. Nintendo Switch doesn't have that many, does it? Well, I don't think it does. It's very lacking. I mean, then Panasonic Q Games Console, the, orig the original one was very good. I mean, if there is a Panasonic Q Games Console mini version, that'd be a really big thing. Because I, I would want in the new Panasonic Q Games Console. All right. I've given you all the details already, but they can add. We know it's got Nintendo GameCube, uh, DVD, VCD, audio CD. It's got all that, hasn't it? What else they can add in there? Blu-ray and MP3 series as well. Yeah, they can do that as well. And on the front, they can put a flash drive. So we can, you know, view photo, music, and videos on it. And play all, all sorts of formats. Also, because the Panasonic Q technology is a bit confusing, you won't able to put 
I saw in there. Because if you're trying to do that, if you're trying to use the Nintendo GameCube ISOs, then the drive will be useless. Yeah, yeah. If you look at the 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 one we got already, you can either have the CD media in there, like if you got Nintendo GameCube and all that, playing all them games on there. But if you use the flash drive and you mod it on there, then the CD won't the CD drive doesn't work anymore. Yeah, it does that. Then only the flash drive will work. I wouldn't want that. I would prefer the CDs to work. This will be this probably will happen in happen in the mini version as well. I think the flash drive should be only used for photo, music and videos. Hmm. Nothing else, yeah? If they can do that, that is. It's not easy. But if the flash drive is causing problem again to the drive, then the best way will be the on the drive, yeah. Nintendo GameCube Blu-ray DVD VCD uh, audio CD and mp3 right there can be a bit of a problem here because like when you have blu-ray a blu-ray software is different to DVD isn't it I think I just made a bit of a mistake there when I just said something. Because when you put Blu-ray, it's totally different to DVD format, isn't it? When you have Blu-ray, then you won't have VCD in it. Yeah, you probably wouldn't have that. So, let's get this right again. Okay. Blu-ray, DVD, audio CD, MP3. Yeah. That's the order that it will be played in, not the other way around, okay? Because if we had DVD, okay, now the system we got right now, it's using DVD, yeah? Now look what it's doing. Nintendo, so DVD, yeah? We know it plays DVD. Nintendo GameCube, DVD, VCD, Audio CD. Can you see with DVD, VCD fits in there? The reason for that is the VCD came first. Then the follow-up media was DVD. Maybe you didn't know this. The Panasonic Q plays something else as well. Which comes on under CD media, doesn't it? <clears throat> it's VCD and SVCD. Hmm, the Super VCD, yeah? It plays that as well. Which is quite a must, really, isn't it? Quite interesting. So, I made so many videos on that already, explained by the media. So, it's really, really interesting. If people want VCD and SVCD, then the system needs to have DVD in there. Yeah. But what they can do, they can read two versions. Yeah? One with Blu-ray, one with DVD. Hmm? The one with Blu-ray won't have VCD and SVCD, but the one with DVD will have VCD and SVCD, which is really cool. So I hope this has been quite informative to you, all about what they can do about mini consoles and how they can release them. And now we know Nintendo 64 mini games console will be releasing next. It's gonna be a really big thing, which will have 20 pre-installed games. It will have a flash drive, and it will have a cartridge slot to uh, use your real game cartridges. And at the front, it'll have a flash drive. Your flash drive will be photo, uh, music and videos and also you can have Nintendo 64 ROMs in there. It's got a really interesting system. I don't know the exact price 
because Nintendo is not even confirming, you know, when it's going to be released and what's the price of the system. And, you know, what, is he really going to have 20 games in there? Would he have a real game cartridge? The flash drive? Is that all true yet? Or is some stuff been removed and changed? I hope not. I hope it does that. So, I would prefer if Nintendo puts more than 20 pre-installed games. Yeah, it would be a lot better if it puts more than that rather than just 20. Okay. So, there you have it. I hope you like my information on the Panasonic Q Games Console and Nintendo Mini Games Consoles. So, there you have it. Give your likes, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.